is the Angle Pairs Tutorial. The first two types of angles I'd like to discuss with you today are adjacent angles and vertical angles. Adjacent angles are any two angles that share one side. So, for example, take a look at angles 1 and 2 here. Angle 1 is composed of these two rays, these two sides right here. And angle 2 is composed of these two sides, this side in green and then this side that overlaps green and blue. So the side that they share is that green and blue side right there. That makes them adjacent angles. Now vertical angles are two angles that are formed by intersecting lines. So here's an example of vertical angles. Here you can see this line here, which I'll mark as line 1, and this line going left and right that I'll mark as line 2. When line 1 and line 2 intersect, they create four angles that we've labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, vertical angles work such that any two angles directly opposite each other are congruent. So, for example, angle 1 here and angle 2 are going to be congruent to each other. And angle 3 and angle 4 are going to be congruent to each other. That's always the case with vertical angles. Always when two lines intersect, there are going to be two angles that are formed that are congruent to each other. So that's a really important part about vertical angles. I'll write it down below. In this case, angle 1 is going to be congruent to angle 2, and angle 3 is going to be congruent to angle 4. We'll practice some of these later. There are a couple more angles that I'd like to show you. Let's take a look first at complementary angles. Complementary angles, right here, are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So you can see on this problem down below, this is a 90 degree angle, as denoted by the red box as we know. And it's broken up into two separate angles, angle M and this second angle down below, which has a measure of 63 degrees. So these two angles are going to add up to be 90 degrees because they compose the total right angle right there. So what you could do is actually solve for angle M. You know that M plus those 63 degrees add up to be 90 degrees. So you could just subtract 63 from each side and you could get M is equal to 27. Now let's take a look at supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So again you can see that down below. Here we have a straight angle or a straight line, whichever you prefer to call it. And that line is always 180 degrees. Whenever you turn about face, so you go the exact opposite direction, you're going 180 degrees in the opposite direction. So angle P plus 50 degrees must equal 180 degrees, the total length of this straight angle. So just like with the complementary angle example before, we could take P plus 50 and set that equal to 180 degrees because together they add up to 180 degrees. They're supplementary. We could then subtract 50 from both sides and you'd find out that P is equal to 130 degrees. And if you look back at the angle P, it does look like it's about 130 degrees. The last angle pair I'd like to talk to you about is a linear pair, and that's any two angles that together form a straight line. Now this is very similar to supplementary angles. These two angles, A and B, are going to add up to form a straight line. And this blue right here, this is the straight line that they're forming. So whenever you have two angles that can add together to form a straight line, you have a linear pair. You could also refer to angle P 
and that 50 degree angle as a linear pair because they add up to 180 degrees. You would just say that P is the supplement to angle 50 or that that 50 degree angle is the supplement to angle P. Now let's take a look at a few example problems and practice some of these. In this first example on the left, example 1, how could we solve for x? Well you can see right here that we have a 90 degree angle. And if that's a 90 degree angle and this we know is a straight line, then this must also be a 90 degree angle. That means that these two angles here and here are going to be complementary. So if you recall from the tutorial, being complementary means that those two angles are going to add to 90 degrees. So we could add those and set them equal to 90 degrees. So 40 plus 6x plus 2 is equal to 90 degrees. I'll combine my like terms on the left hand side of the equation. So we have 6x and 40 and 2 make 42 which is equal to 90. Now we want to get x alone so we'll subtract 42 from both sides of the equation and we'll get 6x is equal to 48. Now we can divide by 6 on both sides to get rid of the 6 on the left and we'll have x is equal to 8. Now if you plug that back in for 6x, I promise you'll get 90 degrees when you add that 6x plus 2 and its complementary angle 40 degrees. Now let's take a look at the second example. We'll call it example 2. What do you notice about these two angles, angle B and the 43 degree angle? The first thing you might notice is that together they make a vertical pair. They're vertical angles because these two lines are intersecting and the angles opposite that intersection are going to be congruent to each other. Now that also makes this angle right here congruent to this angle right here, but so far we're only concerned about B. So for this problem, B must be equal to 43 degrees because of vertical angles. Now let's take a look at the last problem, problem 3. What do you see here? Well I see a straight line right here. Which tells me that these two angles, angle 3x plus 18 and this 93 degree angle, must add up to 180 degrees, the degree measure of that straight line, which makes them supplementary. So if we were to add them together and set them equal to 180 degrees, we could solve for x. So let's do that. 3x plus 18 plus 93 is equal to 180. Now we'll combine our like terms on the left hand side and we'll get 3x plus 111 is equal to 180. Now we want to get x alone, so I'll subtract 111 from both sides of the equation. And we'll get 3x is equal to 69. Now we can divide by 3 on both sides of the equation. And we get x is equal to 23 degrees. Now, if you want to check your work, go ahead and plug that value for x back into this x here. And if you add that value that you get in parentheses there to 93 degrees, you'll get 180, which proves that these two angles are supplementary angles.